The first uncrewed commercial crew flight test is complete. Vice President Pence calls the space station and the station's next crew prepares for launch. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft is back on Earth after successfully completing its uncrewed Demo-1 flight test to the International Space Station. The mission, the inaugural flight of our commercial crew program and the first ever flight to the station of a commercially built and operated American crew spacecraft and rocket from American soil, was designed to test the end-to-end -end capabilities of SpaceX's systems. You can see the nose cone, it's the, sort of like a dome. Those systems included the Crew Dragon's automated control and maneuvering capabilities, which the spacecraft demonstrated during its approach to the space station. You can actually start to see those three pedals. And systems used to complete the first autonomous docking of any U.S. spacecraft to the space station's new international docking adapter, which was installed in 2016. Stop capture confirmed. The mission also included a lifelike anthropomorphic test device to collect data about potential effects to humans on future flights aboard the Crew Dragon. After five docked days and transfer of critical supplies, the spacecraft headed back to Earth, where it safely came to a parachute-assisted splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean off Florida's space coast. It takes, in many cases, decades to achieve this kind of capability. This is an amazing achievement in the history of the United States of America, and it just really exemplifies what we can achieve when we maintain that constancy of purpose. Uh, Mr. Vice President, it's an honor to speak with you this evening. Vice President Mike Pence visited our headquarters on March 6th, where he and NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine talked with Expedition 58 crew members Anne McLean and David St. Jacques on board the space station about the success of the Demo-1 mission and the anticipation of continued success on future missions. This was a, a great week. It was inspiring to see the launch. It was actually more inspiring. Uh, to see the docking and to see you all uh, open that door uh, and, and float into that uh, spacecraft uh, knowing that uh, we'll, we'll very soon have American astronauts arriving at the International Space Station uh, in the same vehicle. Data from Demo-1, along with planned upgrades and additional qualification testing, will be used to further prepare for Demo-2 the first SpaceX flight test that will carry NASA astronauts to the International Space Station this summer. At the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, our Nick Haig, Christina Cook, and Alexei Evchenin of Roscosmos took part in final preparations for their flight to the space station. The Expedition 5960 crewmates are targeted for launch on March 14. Our Kepler Space Telescope was retired in October 2018. But the very first planet candidate it discovered was only just confirmed as a planet, get this, nearly 10 years later. Kepler 1658b's road to confirmation was rocky, thanks to a history of anomalous and inconclusive data. But a dedicated team of researchers used new software and spectroscopic data to unambiguously show it is indeed a planet. In fact, a gas giant planet known as a hot Jupiter that orbits very close to its star a fitting way to mark the 10th anniversary of Kepler's launch on March 6, 2009. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.